Okay, for this session, uh, we're going to look at ER diagram. Okay, now in any databases or some of your final year project, you probably come to a stage where you basically have to document or create an ER diagram to represent your database that you have designed. And very often, I give a very simple tip to students, particularly, is whenever you have a many-to-many -many relationship, something is definitely wrong with your database model. All right. So it's a very, very quick way to identify that you have an incorrect design in your database. So over here, I basically created a so-called many-to-many relationship. All right, between student and class. All right, class here basically means a, a particular uh, classroom. Okay, so well, a uh, quick look at it first. Okay, so a student, all right, can take many class. So maybe a student can take four class or five class. So one student can take many class, but at the same time, a class contains a lot of students. So one class has many students. So a lot of time, uh, right, people will think that, oh, there's a many-to-many -many relationship. Okay. But to explain further why it doesn't work is I have placed the attribute. Think of them as the column. Right. So I have a class ID. Oh, sorry. I have made the class ID two times. So maybe I need to delete one of these. Okay, so class ID and uh, class description. And here, of course, I have student ID and student name. Okay, so now, now I assume that you are creating this table, student table. All right. So the student table, the student table actually have one student ID and one student name. And you need a way to link to this class. So the easiest way is to use the class ID. So somewhere inside here, you have the class ID. Okay, so you have three main column, student ID, student name, and class ID. But what if that student actually take four class? So do you call it class ID one, class ID two, class ID three, class ID four? What if the student take 10 class? Then you have class ID one all the way up to class ID 10. But what if the student take 15 class? So probably your solution would be, okay, I think of the most class a student can take, the maximum. All right, that works. Okay, maybe you have class ID 1 to class ID 100. All right. No student will take more than 100. Okay, okay so let's say you, you created such a design then how are you going to program it? There is 100 column that you need to check. The data could be in anywhere. That is why it doesn't make sense to have this type of relationship. And whenever you have a many-to-many -many relationship, you should break it up into... Alright, okay, I make a mistake here, so let me just get rid of this. Okay, a one-to-many, many-to-one relationship. Which means there is something in the center that you can create right, to break this one up. So a simple way, I will take the two name, class and student. I will take their primary key. And here I will create a composite primary key. That way I will no longer have a many-to-many -many relationship. And that actually solves the problem. So let's, let's think back. To the problem that we have uh, just now. One student take a hundred class. Any problem? No. One student here, okay, hundred class over here, then this student ID with hundred class. If the student were to take one thousand class, no problem. One student ID here, one thousand class ID, and here you have one student ID repeated with 1,000 class record. 
and programming it also makes a lot of sense because i just need to check this three table using a join and i will get my answer all right so i hope by using this example and uh, giving this little uh, talk all right uh, you could understand why a many-to-many -many relationship just does not work all right